let's have a look at two-way tables. So we've got some information here about um, students going to tournament and we were told that 72 students went to tournament. Um, there were 15 year 11 students, so here's our 15 year 11 students. And we've got 31 year 12 students, so these are 31 year 12s. And then we're told from the 25 girls, so in total I know I've got 25 girls that went, four of them were in year 11 and 13 were in year 13. Okay, so before I even go and look at the questions, I need to finish this table. So, I know that every row has to add up, every column has to add up. So, for example, in terms of the female row, 4 plus something plus 13 has to equal 25. So, I can grab my calculator, go 25, take away 13, take away 4, and whatever I'm left with is the year 12 female number. which will be 8. Okay, then I'm going to do the total column, and I know the males plus the female total has to add up to the 72 students in total there. So I can do 72, take away 25, um, and that will give me the number of males, which is 47. So I know I've got 47 males in total. Now I can also look at the year 13s because I can look along and go right that row is just missing one thing there. So if I do 72 minus 15 minus 31 that will give me another number. Just a second. So that is 26 there. Then now I can add up those columns. So I know the year 11 column has to add up to a total of 15. So if I've got four females that means that I must have um, 11 males and equally the year 12 31 minus 8 means I must have 23 year 12 males and the year 13s I need to have 13 plus 13 to get to 26 so there's my table filled in and now that I've done that now I'm going to look at the actual question but I'm not going to look at that question until I've got my table sorted so what is the probability that a student selected at random was in year 13. So because it says a student selected at random, that means out of every student that went on tournament. So I know it's out of the 72 students that there are in total. And I'm saying, what's the chance that they were in year 13? So in terms of that, in total, there are 26 students in year 13. So our probability is 26 out of 72. Now I do expect in year 11 that you can simplify that. And you've got your calculator, so use your calculator to simplify that to 13 out of 36. Or if you'd rather it as a decimal, I would say write it to it four decimal places. So 0 0.3611. Okay, so there's our first question. Let's have a look at the next one. I've got the table there. What is the probability that a student selected at random, so again that's talking about out of the total, was male? So I know in total I've got 47 males and I've got 72 students in total. So the probability of a male is 47 out of the 72. Let's have a look at the next one. What's the probability that a randomly selected student, so again this out of the total, either was female or in year 13? Okay. So I know I'm dividing this by 72, um, and it could either be female or in year 13. So let's think about what that means. So female, well I've got 25 females. Year 13, well I've got 26 people in year, um, that are year 13s. And I've also got these 13 students here that are year 13 females. And I want you to think for just a moment to get to the value of 25. All right, if I think about the total of 25 females that we've got, so that's that row I've just highlighted, we've had to do 4 plus 8 plus 13 is equal to 25. So those 13 students in year 13 that are females have already been counted once to get to that total of 25. Then take that same idea again. But now I want you to think about the year 13s. 
So to get to the year 13s, they have been, we've done 13 plus the 13 is equal to 26. So those 13 females in year 13 have been counted again in that value of 26. So when I come to work out the probability of either being female or being in year 13, if I was just to go 25 plus 26, then what happens is that there are 13 students there that have been counted in both of those groups. So I need to subtract that combination so that I get, I'm only counting them once. Okay. Um, so if I then add that together, that will give me 38 out of 72, which simplifies to 19 out of 36. Or if you want it as a decimal, 0 0.5278. Now there is another way to look at it, because I know some students don't particularly like thinking about it in that way. Another way to think about it is to look at which combinations are including one or the other of these. Okay, so for example, the criteria is either female or in year 13. Okay, that's our criteria, female or year 13. So I've got four students here that are females and in year 11. So I'm going to include them. I've got eight females that are in year 12 and are female. I've got 13 students there that are females in year 13. Okay, so they all meet at least one of those criteria. And I've also got another 13 students here, which are male, but they are in year 13. So what I could do instead, an alternative way, is just to add up those numbers and go 4 plus 8 plus 13 plus 13, all divided by 72. And that will give me that same value of 38 out of 72. Okay. Let's have a look at another question here. What's the probability that a male student chosen at random? So this is telling us I'm not looking at everyone now. I'm only interested in the male students. So I'm just going to draw a box around the male students there. So what's the chance that a male student was chosen at random um, was in year 13. So I've got, there are 13 males who are in year 13 out of the 47 males there are in total. So it's the probability this is conditional, the chance of being in year 13 given that they are male is 13 out of 47. Okay. Another one. What's the probability a student was, oh, I'm just going to have to delete that, a student was female given they were in year 11? So that word given is another big clue. So what we have is we know that they are in year 11. So I'm just going to focus on the year 11s and I've got 15 students in year 11. From those 15 students, how many are female? Well, We've got four students out of the 15. So I'm going to say in the probability that they are female, given they're in year 11, is four out of 15. Another one here. I think this is the last one. Um, in 2018, OEC is planning to send students to tournament. How many year 11 students would you expect to go? Um, so we know we've got a hundred students there. So, and as soon as I see that word expect, I need to think E equals N times P. Okay. So I know my sample size N is a hundred. All right. They're planning to send a hundred students. Now, how many year 11 students? So we need to work out what's the probability of being in year 11, or the proportion of students that were in year 11. So I know I've got um, 15 students in year 11 out of the total of 72 students. So the probability for year, being a year 11 student is 15 out of 72. So I'm going to do, multiply my 100 students by that probability. 
and that will give me 20.83. Now let's think about what this is. This is talking about how many year 11 students am I planning to send next year. So next year I'm expecting 20.83 students. Now I can't have 0.8 of a student, so I need to round this to a whole number. So either 20 or 21 students um, from the 100 are likely to be in year 11. And that's all of the questions.